In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the four most commonly used electric guitar sounds using Geek Performer 4 and the included Overloud THU plugin. Hello everybody, my name is Igor Paspal and I'm Guitar World 2020 Electric Guitarist of the Year. On this channel you'll find tutorials on how to use Geek Performer and will take you inside the rack spaces of professional musicians using Geek Performer to help them own the stage and tutorials on recreating iconic sounds inside Geek Performer. If any of those things are of interest to you, make sure you click that like and subscribe button. And if you are new to Geek Performer, you can download a 14-day free trial from the description below. Okay, so the four most commonly used sounds for an electric guitarist are clean, edge of breakup, rhythm sound, and solo sound. Now, Geek Performer makes it very easy to create all of these and also has an audio tail feature that allows seamless switching that is not possible with standard hardware. Now, we will start in the global rack space. The global rack space will allow you to process audio in the same way across your entire gig. This means no duplicate VSTs and no need to recreate the same things from rack space to rack. Now I have here Gig Performer 4 open and this is actually one of the uh, templates that you you get with, when you when you install Gig Performer, and it's a very cool guitar template with Master FX. You, you know you have great clean sound, uh, rhythm sounds, lead sounds, great widgets here, great chorus delays. But for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to make everything from scratch. So when you open Gig Performer, for Performer, you go to File, you choose New Gig. I'm not going to save this. Okay. So I'm cho gonna choose new empty gig. Now this is how it's gonna look like. So first we want to set up, as I said, we, we are gonna start with our global rack space. So we need to set up our global master FX, the FX that we're gonna use through all our sounds, all our, all our clean, uh, edge of breakup, rhythm solo. So to access the global rack space, we go here to this icon and we go to wiring. So we need first to connect, obviously, our guitar. My guitar is actually connected to my uh, channel 2 of my audio interface. So I'm going to connect it to RackSpace. And then from RackSpace, we're going to connect our FX. I'm going to use the FX from the Overloud THU, which has come pre-installed with Geek Performer 4. Absolutely great, amazing guitar plugin. And here I already set it up few effects, very simple. Here's some parametric EQ which is actually turned off. Chorus, delay and reverb. Only de delay and reverb are, are on right now. Now we need to connect it, these from rack spaces to our master FX section and then to audio out of our sound interface. Now we have our master FX set it up. Now we want to go to our local well, let's say call it local workspaces where we're going to create our sound. So let's say we're first going to create clean sound, double click, I'm going to call it clean. And now I'm going to find my again overload THU and I have here already some examples of my clean sound. Now how to connect it? We need to go right click to global processing now choose from global rack space. Okay, we can close this. So from global rack space. Oh, sorry. And again, right click to global rack space. Just move this down to global rack space and I think we will have sound now. Let's check it out. Very beautiful clean sound. Okay. Now, we want to basically repeat the same thing again, but load in our next rack space, we need to load the, our edge of breakup or our crunch sound. Now, you don't have to do all this again, you just go right-click to your rack space and just choose duplicate selected rack space. 
and then you go to your THU. Okay, we can call it, this was a clean. Now we can call this one edge of breakup. Now we can just go here and load our some crunchy sound. <laughs> Now we have our edge of breakup sound and you will repeat the same process again. We will just go duplicate selected rack space. Let's call this one rhythm. We're gonna add go to THU, find our rhythm sound. I have them all ready here. We found our rhythm sound and we're just gonna... <laughs> Our rhythm sound. And finally, same thing, repeating all over again. Right click, duplicate selected rack space, and let's call it solo, and load our solo sound. It sounds like this. <laughs> Let me demonstrate how to how one of the greatest thing about Gig Performer is how seamlessly you can switch uh, between these patches. I have my MIDI uh, controller hooked up here, uh, without any pops, any cracks, any latency, anything at all. So okay, let's start with a clean sound. Absolutely nothing. Sounds great, works great, and that's about it. So Geek Performer is definitely the best solution for playing guitar live and easily switching sounds. On the screen right now you can check out how to use the included System Actions plugin to easily access the guitar tuner or tap tempo. And if you haven't yet tried Geek Performer 4, let me remind you that you can download a free 2-week trial from the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you soon. On the stage!